Claire Monet. Hey guys, today I'm gonna share with you the ultimate guide on how to find your personal style. Personal style refers to a person's particular way of expressing themselves. So finding your personal style, I feel like it's quite important. You make the most of the pieces that you buy. You are more comfortable, more confident with the outfits that you're wearing. You don't spend like a lot of time in the morning to just to get ready. So I made a list that I'm gonna share with you right now. And I assure you that if you follow this list, you will for sure find your personal style. So as always, before we get started, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, because it really helps me out. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing because it's free and you can always just change your mind in the future. So without further ado, let's get onto it. Step number one is to get on Pinterest and just start pinning the outfits that you buy. To find inspiration, I think that Pinterest is much better than Instagram because on Pinterest, the feature that I like the most is that if you like a picture in particular, if you click on it, then Pinterest will show you a bunch of similar pictures to the one that you like. So this is a really easy way to spot an outfit that you like and then get a bunch of recommended different outfits that look similar to that vibe that you like. And Pinterest here is kind of doing the job for you because it's just showing you outfits that are similar to the aesthetic that you like. And also I feel like Pinterest is great to just get inspired and not get inspired by the girl that is wearing the outfit. I feel like on Instagram, I just pay attention more to who's wearing the outfit and on Pinterest, I just pay attention more to the outfit itself. So here you just need to get creative and just pin whatever you like. It doesn't matter if you maybe like the jacket of the outfit, but you don't like the pants, just pin everything that you like. It doesn't matter if it's different aesthetics, just pin whatever you like. So now that you have this board with so many images, it's time to look at them. So the clothing is more oversized, is more fitted. Do you like bold colors or mixing prints? Or you are just more into monochrome and neutral outfits? It's more casual, it's more classy. Do you prefer pants or skirts? And what are the colors and the pieces that show up over and over again? Now, step number two is to purge your closet. Now that you have an idea of what you like and you have this inspo pictures, you need to go to your closet and just stand in front of your closet with your Pinterest board open and see if your current wardrobe reflects what you like. Now, the pieces that don't resonate with the style that you are looking for, the new pieces that you may like to have on your closet, it's time to just get rid of them. I purge my closet every start of a season. So I purge my closet at the beginning of spring and summer, and then I purge my closet at the beginning of autumn and winter. And that's because our styles change throughout the years. So don't get discouraged if you get rid of a lot of stuff, because they are just creating clutter on your space and they are not doing anything for you to be able to find your style and to feel confident and comfortable wearing your new outfits. So once you have purchased your wardrobe, it is time, it is the most beautiful time, it's time to go shopping. Get in loser, we're going shopping. So before you go shopping, I actually do this. I look up all the inspiration that I save. So that way I have an idea of what I actually wanna buy and what other things I don't really need. And before you make any purchase, ask yourself if that piece that you're about to buy is gonna help you create the look that you're going for. And never buy stuff just because it's on sale, because it fits nice or because you should like it. Because I used to do this mistake a lot. I would a lot of time just buy clothes just because they were on sale, but then just after a couple of months, unfortunately, you do not wear this piece a lot. It's not your style and it's not helping you create your personal style and just achieve the look that you want. Another tip that I think is really useful if you are just starting with this method is to look on your Pinterest board and just find the five pieces that repeat the most and then write them down and when you go shopping you need to keep looking at that note and just purchase these five items. Another tip that I find really useful and that I actually use a lot is the rule of three. Make sure that you only buy stuff that you know 
that you could wear in three different ways. And the pieces that meet this criteria will become your core wardrobe pieces. And these pieces will define your personal style and just make it easier when you get dressed. Next step is to buy basics and create a capsule wardrobe. Basics are jeans, pants, tops, blazers, shirts and knits or like jumpers. If you have good basics, you will never feel like you have nothing to wear because those basics that you keep wearing over and over again will help you create an outfit from scratch. Most of the times when I want to create an outfit, I either go for a basic, maybe for a blazer, or I go for a hero piece like a pink skirt or like a really bright color uh, top or something like that. And then I just work around that piece and I create an outfit. You need your basic pieces to be able to create the rest of the outfit. So for instance, if I have like a really cute top, but I do not have a blazer, I do not have a pair of just cool jeans that I like or cool trousers that I like, I won't be able to create an outfit. And your basics may be different to mine. For me, my basics are just oversized clothing, just oversized blazers, suit trousers, um, suit sets, tops, like simple tops and shirts also, like button-ups. For me, those are my basics and the pieces that I wear on a regular basis. So you have to determine which ones are your basics by looking at your Pinterest board that will help you just decide which are actually your basics. Next tip is to try different aesthetics and different styles. I know that we are just trying to find our personal style, but I feel like it's not like realistic to just stick to one aesthetic. I personally have multiple aesthetics and different styles depending on my mood, depending if I want to look sexy or casual, depending on the weather. I feel like most people that enjoy fashion don't only enjoy one aesthetic and they try like multiple aesthetics and also the fact that you try different aesthetics and then you try to just get out of your comfort zone will help you just decide what you actually like and what you actually feel comfortable and just confident with and what you don't like. If you don't try new things, you don't really know if that could actually work for you or if it's not. So experimenting with unique style choices is really important to be able to find new aesthetics and just find your personal style. Next step is to take pictures of yourself wearing different outfits. When you take pictures of yourself or maybe you film yourself, you are able to see yourself from the outside and it is like really different from when you see yourself on a mirror. That's why I feel like influencers that just take pictures of themselves all the time or just film a lot of TikToks or YouTube, it's easier for them to find their personal style. And I feel like this is something that actually helped me a lot to just see myself wearing clothing on videos and on YouTube just really helped me to just really notice what kind of style looks good on me, what I like most to see on myself. If you don't do YouTube, if you don't do TikTok or if you don't do Instagram, it doesn't matter. Still take pictures of yourself. You will see from all these pictures the outfits that stand out the most for you and in that way you will start to maybe repeat that outfit and just change a couple of things maybe you just change the pants or maybe you just change the jacket and just by doing that you are kind of training yourself and just getting more creative with outfits that already work for you and that you really like how they look next step is to try to not get influenced by others by that i don't only mean influenced on social media because of course we get like bombarded with stuff on social media but also influenced in real life because if you are trying just a new outfit you are just trying something cool and just something new you are trying a new aesthetic that maybe you are not really sure about and you are just on that period where you are just unsure and then all of a sudden maybe your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister just comments on your outfit even if it's like something nice Sometimes that can just trigger something. This used to happen a lot for me, where I would just try something new and even if my boyfriend said, oh, you look good on that. I don't know why, if I was unsure about the outfit, that positive comment kind of just created a negative thought on my mind. Throughout the years, I just learned to not get influenced and to just try new stuff and just do not care at all of what other people think 
For instance, <laughs> this is kind of funny, but my dad like always has something fun to say about my outfits because of course like I'm the more fashionable member of my family and my dad always has to comment on everything that I, that, that I wear. Now I just learned to not get influenced by that and to just keep wearing whatever I want and just to listen to myself and just how I feel on that outfit and if I feel confident or not. This is something that you just have to work on and just practice and I feel like the more that you try new things the less that people will comment on you because at the end of the day fashion is just to express yourself and to just have fun and if you take into consideration too much what other people think about you you will never just be able to express yourself and to be able to just find your personal style because maybe those comments that make you feel a little bit insecure are just backing you away from wearing what you want to wear and that was it i hope that if you are trying to find your personal style hopefully this video helped you out thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i hope to see you all in my next video bye bye